Hi guys, and welcome to one of my uh, videos. Um, this is kind of a, not a blog post per se, um, this is just me doing my kind of everyday makeup look, because um, I'm actually on route to go and see a friend this afternoon, um, once I've dropped my son off at nursery. Um, I will apologise if there's like loud banging, next door still have builders, which is kind of the bane of my life at the moment. Um, and my son is actually watching stuff on the tablet um, to keep him occupied while I do this makeup. Um, as I said, today is not technically a bog post day. It's just kind of me being a little bit creative um, and just being a little bit me. Um, so as you can probably tell, I've already done my foundation um, and I've used primer from Revolution, the ultra face based primer um, and my standard uh, foundation which is the foundation um, by Revolution, which is the Fast Base foundation, and the concealer, which is the Conceal and Define, um, again, by Revolution. As you can probably tell, I'm very into Revolution products. <coughs> so, yeah, my son is singing to himself. Typical. So, I will apologise at, at the camera angle. My camera is slightly lower than where it needs to be, I need to rise it up, but it'll be fine for today. Um, so I'm just going to start with my eyes and I'm going to be using the Sleek, um, this is the oh so special um, eyeshadow palette, it's their Eye Define, um, and I got this in a glossy box a few months ago, I will say that the colours are actually pretty nice, there are a few like matte shades, um, they're nice colours, they're a bit smoky, they're easy to blend, um, they're not as defining as I would usually like, um, but there are some nice matte shades and some nice glitter shades, so I'm just going to create today's look using this. So firstly I'm going to be using a sort of, um, I'm, I'm basically going to be creating a sort of a, a smoky eye look, so I'm going to be using um, this sort of coral pink here which almost matches my brush which is kind of a little bit tame so i'm just going to use that i will say that it is that it does have a lot of fallout like it's very pigmented but it does have a lot of fallout so i'm expecting this to go everywhere right now so i'm literally just going to put this shade over the crease of my eye and then just kind of blend it out. This is just like the base colour for me today because I want to create something that's a bit more dramatic than my normal normal look, but a bit more me. I will say this is a nice eyeshadow in colour. It's a bit more pink than I would have expected for a coral shade, but that's not a problem. I can work with it. Okay, so that is the eye crease done. I will say this does have a lot of fallout, um, which it, for me isn't a problem. I just have to remember to like tap the brush off. Um, next, I am going to use this sort of goldeny pink color. Um, it's a glittery shade. Um, it's almost like a lilac, um, and I'm just going to use that over the actual crease where I've just created that coral. Just to give a little bit of definition. Okay, so the, the actual glitters in this palette aren't as pigmented as you'd expect. I'm actually having to use quite a bit of product. So 
So I'm basically using this on the outer corner of my eye and just over my eyelid, like halfway over my eyelid, and just blending it in. I'm just building it up because it, like on the first apply of this, it does not take to my eyelid very well at all. It has a lot of fallout. So yeah, that's the outer corner of my eye done. And next, I'm going to use the shade that is above it. So that shade, because it's a slightly darker color. Slightly still very glittery so I'm just going to use that in the inner corner and blend it in I will say that the glitters in this um, Salik eyeshadow palette aren't as pigmented as the mattes. The mattes have a lot of fallout, as do the glitters, but they don't, like, the actual colour on them is actually really hard to apply because the pigment's not there. Like, you can pick, you can literally pick the stuff up on your brush like that and then when you apply it it just doesn't doesn't seem to want to apply so I'm having to like build it up Okay, and that is my eye look for today. It's very, um, it's very subtle. Um, it's a little bit of a glow to my eyes rather than like an all-out dramatic kind of boom. So now that I've done my eyeshadow, I'm going to use my normal um, eyeliner, which is my Miss Sporty Pump Up Booster Coal. Um, I always live for coals. Coals are like my main go-to for um, eyeliners, especially for my waterline, because I have quite defined waterline, um, and it's just kind of hard sometimes. I find a lot of eye pencils quite hard. go so that is my waterline done um for lash line today i am going to be using the new eyeliner that i have which is the liner by revolution um this i bought on monday and i've used it for a couple of my blog posts already um it's just a really nice tip um it's very very like easy to apply 
it, it doesn't really take much to apply it. So for me, this is like a really nice applicator. So yeah, I am creating a little bit of a winged look today, just because I'm in the mood to create a little bit of a wing. Um, like I said, I am going shopping this afternoon with a friend, and it's coffee and cake afternoon, so... I will apologise, as always, I, I'm not really talking very much on my video, I'm just kind of getting on with my makeup, like always. I'm so sick of the builders now. In case you can't tell, they've got vans out front, the builders. They have vans out front with loads of like power tools and all I've heard all week is like just noise. So I'm actually really looking forward to this afternoon. If I don't go out this afternoon, I'm likely to go stir crazy and probably take everybody with me, which is not good. So anyway, that's my eyeliner look for today. Um, just simple, a little bit of a flick at the end. Um, just something that's a little bit, you know, not my usual, but kind of a little bit of a interest. Um, next, I will be using my mascara. I was going to put false eyelashes on, but I really can't be faff, faff today. Um, purely because a mixture of reasons I don't want the hassle of putting false eyelashes on um, and I've got false nails on and putting false lashes on when you've got false nails is a nightmare um, I just I'm out of practice anyway so I just can't be bothered so my look will just have to do with mascara Okay, that's one set of eyelashes done.
So that is my mascara, and as always, I'm using my Essence Lash Princess, which I just dropped, um, Lash Princess Mascara. Um, that is my general go-to mascara. Um, next, I am going to be using a highlighter. Um, the reason I'm using a highlighter today is because I just feel like my face is a little bit paler than normal, um, and it just needs a little bit extra um, kind of contouring, I think. So I'm just using like my highlighter. Um, this is my Calido Cosmetics. And this is their Astralite um, highlighter. I've had this for a little while. I think I got this back in August. Um, and I've kind of been using it as like a contouring tool. Blend, 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 blend. It probably doesn't help that I've actually like washed my brushes yesterday so all my brushes are lovely and clean problem is when it comes to blending out highlighter i kind of need a little something to blend it out with <laughs> so yeah that is my highlighter blended out and now for blusher obviously i am using benefits Galif uh, california um, I, again, I got this back in, I think, September, um, and I think this one came from Birch Box, if I remember rightly. Um, it is a really nice colour, I've used it quite a lot. Um, it's just, like, really peachy, it has a really nice smell to it, um, but a lot goes a long way. So you kind of, like, apply it very, very gently. So as you can probably tell, I tend to just like build up. I'm very gentle with my makeup. It's easier to be gentle rather than having to take it off and start again. There we go. And that is my blusher done. And next I will be doing lipstick. Um, now today I'm actually using a, quite a bright red. Um, purely because I want something that's a little bit more bold on my lips. Um, this is Twiggy lipstick. Um, I was given this by my next door neighbour. Um, it's in a shade that she doesn't like. Um, and she got given it by I think one of her kids or something. Um, and it, it's a shade that she doesn't like, but she knows I adore lipsticks, um, so she gave it to me, um, and she hadn't used it, so it's all fine. Um, but it is, this is the shade Hollywood Red, and it, it is a gorgeous bright red, um, like, it is a, like, it's almost as red as my top, that's so scary. Um, so yeah, I shall be using that. I would be using a lip pencil, only I don't have one that matches this colour, so I'm just going to have to be really careful. So 
yeah, that is my look for today. Um, I will say I have used this lipstick before, um, and I do really like this shade. And I just think it's a really lovely red shade. Um, if you don't know, when it comes to me and my lipsticks, I tend to go for like quite bold, defined lips. Um, and I gen generally go for something that's very like eye catching. And I do really love red lipsticks. I just like God knows how many red lipsticks I have. Um, and it's the same with lip glosses. I tend to go for like quite bright lip glosses. I have virtually every shade of like lip gloss you can imagine. I have blues, I have greens, just a collection. Um, so yeah, um, this is my look for today. Um, this is what I'll be wearing when I go out. You will get to see pictures on my Instagram page. Um, and obviously I will be having a lot more makeup, uh, a lot more jewellery on. I'm not really wearing much of my jewellery at the moment. And I want to start getting back into wearing my jewellery. Um, so obviously I've put my bracelet back on. I've put my rings back on. I just need to put my earrings, my necklace, um, and a few more bracelets and I'll be fine. But yeah, this is my makeup look for today. Um, so yeah. Don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel and don't forget to check out my social page, uh, social media pages. Um, and if you've liked this tutorial, just send us a like.